Praise the Lord. Myself approved unto God. Amen. We rely on the Spirit to teach us all things and ask God after a sermon or a video if they are true. That's a very good question. And it's a good, I think it's a question response, but that's correct. We rely on the Spirit to teach us all things. You know, when we go to church, we should pray. And it makes no difference who's getting ready to speak. We should pray. And it makes no difference even if the person that you know that's getting ready to speak sometimes may not be um, what you may desire, but you should pray. The Lord will always bless us. He will always bless us when we step into his sanctuary. If we pray and ask for God to teach us, he will teach us. He will give us instruction. There may be one scripture, one statement that's made that the spirit of God himself will expound, expound upon, even if the minister does not do it. The spirit of God himself will expound upon that scripture or expound upon that statement and give you greater insight spiritually concerning those things to water and feed your soul. And um, there is no doubt, there is no doubt that in many of our churches today, the ministers have brought new, the new theology. Many of them are preaching very empty sermons if they're not preaching outright lies from the pulpit. I'm not going to, this is just reality. Many are standing in the pulpits with the torch of false prophecy lit by the torch of Satan himself. And we're told that by the servant of the Lord and it's a fact. Why would one do if the church isn't open? And, and so what we need to do is we need to uh, now. So let me ask and answer the first question, then I'll get to the next one. Um, so how do you ascertain whether or not your church is in apostasy or your church apostate teachings are being presented in your church? You have to put them to the law and to the prophets. You yourself have to be studying the word of God day by day and thereby you'll be able to be able you will be able to determine whether or not what is being presented to you is truth or if it's falsehood you listen to the minister allow the minister to present his message it may sound good that's all good and well you take your notes you take your scriptures you take your scripture references down in most cases they will not be and then you and then you try it against the scriptures you try it against the scriptures okay now now, present truth is absent, and it's true. In most churches, present truth is absent. And as we're told in the book, in the um, in the in, in the letter message to the little little flock, there are many precious truths in the Word of God, but it's present truth that 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 the flock needs now. It's present truth that the Church of God needs now. It's true that we need present truth in our churches. We need present truth in our homes, in our family worships, in our personal devotions. We need present truth. That's one of the reasons that you're not hearing present truth in your church, because the ministers are not engaging in present truth in their personal devotions. They're not engaging in present truth in their family devotions, if they're having family worship. And therefore, when they come into the church, they're not going to present anything different from that which they're looking at during the week, even if they're actually studying or looking at anything during the week and are not just making preparations to deliver a message on Sabbath on Friday evening. All right. That's just going to call it as it is. OK, it's truth. 